So we discussed unit number three, measures of central tendency. Before doing first and second unit, we will do this one so that you get correct idea regarding what are the different series and how to use that one by means of formula. Now, in measures of central tendencies, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9 types of questions. In those 9 types of questions, first one is arithmetic mean, second types of questions belongs to geometric mean, third one harmonic mean, then median, mode, quartiles, percentiles, combined mean, descriptive questions like how to find if one of the mean value is missing or one of the frequency is missing. Basically, what we have is in measures of central tendency unit, number of problems, number of types of problems we have, total 9 types in which we will discuss one one type daily. First type is arithmetic mean. In arithmetic mean, we can't use single mean formula for all the questions because what I said you in earlier thing, what I, what I showed you data is classified into three forms. One is individual series like any data is given suppose 3, 4, 7, 9, 10 in this way. Whatever information is without table or whole number and values are given to you. For that information we will use this type of mean. Mean equal to sigma xi by n. This sigma means sum of sum of all the observations, whatever observations. Suppose for 5 students marks are there out of 10. 1 person got 3, 4, 7, 9 and 10. If I want to find mean or average, this, these all are averages itself. Mathematical averages. One mathematical average what we are doing is mean. In this mean, mean is also known as arithmetic mean. And we can also see x bar. Mean is represented by x bar. So these three names are there for arithmetic mean. AM or mean or x bar. All are mean names itself. But we basically will not use any symbol. We will write mean equals to sigma x i by n. This formula we will use for particular questions which don't have tables we can see or rule number and values are given or names and values are given alphabet and values are given for such type of questions at the time of question i'll explain you why this is considered to be individual series so when i say individual series that time you should know the formula mean equals to sigma xi by n then second type of questions discrete series questions in discrete series questions we'll use this formula what is that how we can recognize discrete series some two variables are given to you one seven 12, 5, or in this way they, they can give any information. So, by seeing such type of information in both the lines, you will be having values here. Individual values, that's my individual series. Here we have two set of values 11, 7 members, 12, 5 members, 13, 1 member, 14, 7 members. Such type of information or such type of data, if you find in question, and then you find mean of this data. So I can't use this formula. Why? Because this formula represents formula for individual series. If I find such questions, single values, so which formula we can use? Mean equal to summation of fi into xi divided by sum of fi. How to find this one at the time of questions you get to know. Now in continuous series, continuous series we have many formulas, direct method, assume mean method, step deviation method, many methods are there. This one is step deviation method, maximum used formula we have three different methods so we can go through with all the three methods or else if you know this method they can you can also do the remaining two methods by seeing the examples also so we'll discuss this method many methods are there discrete series also by using this method or many formulas are there, we can use that also but standard formulas whatever we'll use maximum that i'm writing here now a equals a mean equals to a plus sigma fi into ui divided by sigma fi into h. This division is not for all. A is separate plus then this value then into h is given to you. So for that mean, which, which one is said to be continuous series? For what question we will use this one? Questions of this form. Class interval is given and frequency is given. Some data is given in table form 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 7, 1, 2, 3 in that way. Anything is given in this form is known to be continuous series question. This formula we can't use for continuous series question. Now, individual series formula we can't use for continuous series question. So, what we have? Three different formulas for three different series of questions. If we find individualized questions, that time sigma xi by n. If we find discrete type questions, we will use sigma fi xi by sigma fi. 
and if we have continuous series questions, we'll have this one. Basically, you need to hear, just go through with continuous series question. These are the things which they can ask for four months. And this one, continuous series question, they can ask for 12 months. So basically, what is the, what, what you have to learn at the end of this day? Measures of central tendencies have total nine types of questions. You have to go through with all things. Then, in arithmetic mean or mean or x bar, we have three types of series. For all the different types of series, we have three different types of formulas. Sigma xi by n, sigma fi xi by sigma fi, then mean equals to a plus sigma fi ui by sigma fi into h. Okay?